Hey, it's meteorologist Corey Reppenhagen here. Did you guys know that October is actually one of the busier months of the hurricane season? Yeah, so September is the busiest and that followed by October. And it has to do with how water stores heat. And so it takes a little bit longer to heat the oceans up and it takes a little bit longer to cool them down. So the, tr the peak of hurricane season kind of lags a little bit behind the traditional hot summer months. So uh, when it comes to those sea surface temperatures, that's how we kind of track the uh, potential energy in the ocean. And they're all, all months of the year are, are really increasing as far as the average sea surface temperature but October in particular is definitely warming uh, as far as when it comes to the oceans especially the Gulf and the Caribbean so uh, the last three Octobers have been the warmest three months out of any month or year uh, in the Caribbean so the, the heat has definitely been there in October. And in fact, when Melissa went through there and exploded, the sea surface temperatures were still 86 to 87 degrees. So a lot of potential energy right there in that water in the Caribbean. So when you look at the uh, strongest hurricanes ever recorded, and so what I like to use is the true um, definition for hurricane intensity, and that would be by measuring the barometric pressure. And so uh, the, the top eight hurricanes, uh, as far as the strongest or most intense barometric pressure energy is concerned, three of them, three of the top eight are from October. So we just had one, Melissa is now the third strongest as far as uh, barometric pressure goes. Wilma was the most intense hurricane ever recorded, 882 millibars. That was late October, 2005. And of course, just last year we had Milton, which was in the uh, second week of uh, October. So three very strong October storms. And so the potential has been there and the potential is also there in the future as these waters continue to warm in October.